Did you know that ChatGPT Desktop has more features than web and mobile? Oh, do you know how to download ChatGPT for desktop? I will show you how and also show you the endless features that will skyrocket your experience with ChatGPT. From thousands of inbuilt prompts to creating your own custom prompts. You can even synchronize prompts from a web repository with thousands of free prompts. With this, you don't need to know how and which prompt to write. It's all already in the system. You can even just use a slash shortcut and boom, your desired prompt will be on the tab. You can switch between themes with ease, take screenshots like a prom, print your output, and many more. Did you know that you don't even need to write a continue command? Yeah, I have said that because ChatGPT Desktop already has an inbuilt continue command, you just type your prompt and the result will generate to the end. This is super exciting. Working with documents has also been made super easy and super cool. If you're a student or researcher, this is something you have and must have. Okay, guys, let's dive straight into this. Kindly, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Now, go to any browser I will be using Chrome for this video. We shall be downloading the application from GitHub. Don't worry, no programming is needed and no account creation is needed. Just type github.com in the browser tab and visit GitHub. Now in the search bar, search for ChatGPT for desktop. We want this first option, links chat GPT. It is what we need. I have put a link in the description if you have trouble finding this. Just open the video description and click on the link. You will be redirected to the page automatically. Now, let us open this. Scroll down to the option of download for Windows. Look for the chat GPT direct download installer with an MSI extension. Click download, our download starts, and when it finishes, click on open to start installing. Let us install it. Just click Next until the package starts installing. When it is complete, click on Launch to launch your application. This is our Windows application. It has installed smoothly. When you have installed it for the first time, it will take you to the login screen for you to log in. Here, you need to have a ChatGPT account. If you don't have one, I have a video on creating an account and getting started with ChatGPT. I have put its link in the description. Now, if you have an account, click Login, and you will be redirected to this login window. I prefer logging in with Google. You just need to follow the commands and you will finally log in. You can also log in using your email address and password. As you can see, I have logged in and inside the application. Now let us see the features of this desktop application that makes it the best. You see that you have all your web options for the web version of ChatGPT, but most importantly, you have other added features. GPT Turbo 3.5 option is available, and for pro users, you still have access to your GPT-4. The sidebar is also available and nothing changed on it. Let us check out some other features. Go to Preferences, then Control Center. Here we can switch between themes. Let me try the light theme. Now, this is the usual light theme. You can easily toggle back to the dark theme. Let us try other features. Go to Window and select Doll.E. This is an image generation tool. Imagine having it in one place. You can access all your images created in one place. Let us try one command and see if it works. Type, generate a 3D render image of a future generation Land Rover. I need a hyper-realistic image and then press Enter. The AI generator is now working. Finally, we have our 3D renders. You can export them to your other projects. Let us go back to ChatGPT. Go to Preferences again and choose Control Center. Now let us check out the prompts. You can add your own custom prompts or use the already available prompts. You can also import prompts. Let us add a custom prompt, assuming you have seen a nice prompt somewhere and want to save it. Just copy it and come to User Custom, then click on the Add Prompt. This window will open up. It has three parts. One of them is the Command CMD. This is the shortcut you will use to call this prompt. It is the name of the prompt you will type in the Chat GPT text area to call the prompt. Then it has the act part. This is the character you want to name the prompt. For example, act like a lawyer. Act like a professional business idea writer with years of experience. Now the prompt part is where you put your prompt. Make sure it is well explained and clear. For example, you are requested to write a business idea for a startup. This idea should be so good since you're a professional writer. You can start by asking me anything you want to know from me before starting to write. After writing the prompt, you can save and now your prompt will be available and you can call it any time. Let us give it a try. 
My CMD is love and the act is love specialist. The command is generate short WhatsApp status texts that are for lovers. Use Shakespeare's language of love and mix in art. Make sure everyone who reads them falls in love with me. You can add some tags. These are just identifiers. Now save. Let us try to check it out. First, go back to chat GPT, refresh the chat window, and then get ready to call the CMD. Type slash and love. As you can see, our prompt is here. Then select it and press enter. You can add anything else you need. As you can see, we have our results. The beauty of this is that you can always call the prompt anytime you need it. You can even call it in the same window where you are doing other things. This is a very useful feature for people who have to use the same prompt multiple times. You just use a command and your prompt will be there. We can also import all prompts in the system by just going to prompts and clicking the sync prompts button. As you can see, the prompts have been synchronized. All these are now available for us to call, over hundreds of them. You can also synchronize custom prompts. Online has so many free prompts that have been pre-made by AI specialists and prompt engineers. Just go to any browser and Google CSV file of ChatGPT prompts to download. The system accepts CVS files and JSON files. Let us go to awesome chat GPT prompts, download the CSV and save it on your computer. Now go back to the control center and choose add prompt in sync custom. A window to add a prompt opens up, add the name of the prompt and choose local option the in the file section, click on upload. Your file explorer will open up and you can choose the CVS you downloaded. After click save and your full prompt library will be added. As you can see, these are the prompts we have downloaded. You can check them on the front. As you can see, we have many prompts we can anytime. Let us call this one of Startup Tech Lawyer. As you can see, ChatGPT already knows what to do. The results can be exported in many ways. Let us try taking an image option. Now the application is taking a screenshot of our chat window. This is the screenshot that has been taken. You can go ahead and edit it. We can also export our work as a PDF or even markup. This is really worth it. Let us continue to explore this Windows application. Go to Preferences, then Control Center. Here, click on Notes. You will find all notes of the results you have generated. The only challenge is that you won't find previous data before installing the application. You can preview the notes. You can also edit these prompts when you click on the Edit option. Here, you can edit the results from ChatGPT and then save a finished product. This is super cool. The Automatic Continue Command. This Windows application has an inbuilt continue command. You don't need to hustle with ChatGPT stopping and giving you half documents. Let us try it out. Go to the tab and ask ChatGPT the following prompt. Give me 100 life hucks about children and easy parenting. Normally, ChatGPT would give you like 30 and stops. Then you have to give it a continue command for it to give you another 30. With this application, this is automatic. As you can see, ChatGPT is generating the results. It gets a glitch, and before it stops, the system does not allow it, and then it proceeds until the whole document is produced. This is important for people who generate long-form documents. This is our whole document with no broken parts. The system handled the continue command. This is ChatGPT for Windows. You can access the rest of the features you have in your web ChatGPT, but trust me, this is the best. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and kindly share with friends. We meet in the next video.